So where am I sleeping? So uh, here. <laughs> here. <laughs> it's a really big day in my life. And I really feel this. Oh my god. This. That's my heart. Can I feel it? No, no, here oh, it's hard. It's pounding. <laughs> Woo! Ready? Yes, we are ready. Okay, guys. Whoa! Hello, Dynamo. Hello. It's gonna be my first interview in English. Ooh. It's gonna that's be my first interview in English. It's okay. It's okay. That's good. That's it's good. It's okay. Do you know why I live there? Because uh, I decided three months ago, I decided to record interview in English, but I didn't speak English very well. So I went to school, I went, I took that course, and I have my uh, English teacher here. We are connected with Camila, and if I make some mistake, she let us know. <laughs> she, let us, she will let us know. She will let us know. Okay, Dynamo. How is she gonna let us know? Like that. Or uh. the second uh, idea is <laughs> that second idea. <laughs> that second idea, Dynamo. First of all, uh, I want to know if you can tell me uh, what did they tell you uh, about my program before you decided to come here. They said that it's in a very small space, which it is, but it's a good space, and they said you had a surprise for me. I saw that outside. Yeah, yeah. how do you like I was, it? I like it a lot. I wasn't sure what to expect when they said you got a surprise, but they won't tell you what it is. <laughs> okay. So I was a bit like, ooh. Um, and they also said that it's one of the best shows on the internet. Oh, so thank I had you to so get much. involved. Great, thank you so much. You know, I have my program because I was trying to get some Polish station like for 10 years, but they weren't interested to hire me, hiring me. So I decided to hire myself and I recorded my talk show in this studio flat. That time I didn't understand why it's like that, but now I know it was destiny. Did you have a moment in your life when something went wrong, but now you know it was destiny? In a weird sort of way, back in England, mm -hmm. I had a similar kind of career, mm -hmm. almost. I tried for years to get the British television companies to be interested in my magic, but they didn't want to give me a show. So I started filming my own videos for YouTube and then slowly but surely interested started to build and I ended up finally getting the TV shows where they came and asked for me. So I guess it's kind of similar to your story. That's right. How to explain people that sometimes bad things happen for a reason? Always, yeah. I think everything happens for a reason and I really believe that we make our own luck and if we go out there and work hard then we're gonna, you know, we can achieve great things like yourself. Is it not like uh, bad things give us a better lesson than a positive moments? I do believe that you can learn more from a mistake than, than from getting things right all the time. If you keep getting things right, then it's obviously it's good to get things right, but sometimes you'll make a mistake and you'll learn more from it. So I think it's, it's good. And I think definitely, you know, making your own show and kind of, mm -hmm. you know, I guess taking your own artistic impression of something and sharing it with the world, with the kind of current situation that we're in with social media, with YouTube, with Twitter, Facebook, the internet in general, we are kind of more empowered now than we've ever been. So nothing can kind of stop us. And I, you know, the way you've kind of made your show is just proof of that. Somebody told me you are addicted to Facebook, social... A little bit. More, more Twitter. Twitter and now Instagram. And there's always, always new ones coming out. And do you know, do you know Snapchat? Yes, well? is, you can see the picture for six seconds, yeah? Yes. I don't have Snapchat. Do you have? I recently joined. Yeah. I'm still getting used to it. Okay, People keep sending right. me crazy pictures. Did you have a moment in your life when you felt lost? All the time. All yeah. the time? I have, I but not on the street. I feel. Yeah, not on the street. No, I have, I have um, a sat-nav. <laughs> but no, I, uh, I have... When I was younger, I really liked magic. But other people didn't like... They, or didn't necessarily believe that I could make a career for magic. They wanted me, like my mum and my nan, it's like wanted me, me to get a, me. They said, go out and get a proper job, get an education, and you can get yourself a proper job. But for me, you know, I had to go through quite a lot of trials and tribulations before I thought, you know what? I know my family wants me to do one thing, but to truly be happy, I need to follow my own path, and magic was that path. So once I realized that, and I kind of set off on that journey, I haven't looked back since, and it's here I am today in your house. Did stalking in the school? Because actually we can call stalking. Did stalking in the school teach you something? The bullying at school, at the time it was horrible. I hated it. But then without that, 
I would have never got taught any magic by my grandpa because mm -hmm. he saw me getting bullied and then he showed me some magical techniques yeah, to scare which, away yeah. the bullies, which, like I said, without that, I wouldn't have never learned any of them techniques. So I guess I kind of think the bullying in a way changed my life, but it was horrible. And I think if people are getting bullied out there, then it's definitely important that you tell people, don't be afraid to tell people what's going on and hopefully someone can stop it soon. If you could turn back time, what would you change? If I could turn back time. If you could turn back time. <laughs> um, I think I would go back in time and I would be Martin McFly. So I'd go back before my, Michael J. Fox got to be Martin McFly in Back to the Future. And then I would be Martin McFly and I would go in the time machine. So then I could always go back in time. Cool do many things. Internet is full of videos how he's doing this. It's mean how you are doing some tricks, but you are still fascinating. Why is this so? I think first and foremost, magic in general is intriguing to people. It's an art form and it can be expressed in many different ways and many different magicians over the years have done that. And, and I always try and you know strive to create something unique and special with what I do. But then, even when people kind of have speculation about how I do certain things, I'm always thinking of the next thing. I'm always working on the next piece of magic. So for me, all this speculation inspires me more to keep creating more. Okay. A bit like with you, you know, you do one video and then it'll inspire you to make another video. Um, and also I think, you know, my, my natural good looks and charm definitely do the trick. <laughs> Have you ever commented video? Hey, ah! I know, I know, no. I know. Have you ever commented on, that, on a video like that one? You know, my job as a magician, I get to put smiles on people's faces all the time. That's just like, true, yeah, just like, like right now. now. So. <laughs> Actually, you didn't make tricks, but I'm smiling still, so it's nice. What are your dreams connected with, with your profession? I think my dreams are to... You know, you're famous, you're rich, you're flying a lot, you're traveling a lot, so... I think my dreams are, are more to kind of connect people and to show people the possibilities that are all around us. But sometimes you can get so caught up in your own life and in the own world that you live in, that you don't see the goodness that's out there. You know, there's lots of trappings in life and there's lots of trappings in fame and lots of trappings, you know, with just everything. So to be able to kind of make people stop and think for a second and find a different direction to take their life in is always a good thing. And, you know, I dream, but, you know, I don't want people to have to go through kind of some of the bad things I had to go through when I was growing up. You know, I don't want people to have to kind of live a life without magic, you know, because magic's a wonderful thing and it can be interpreted in many different ways. So hopefully through magic I do, it can be shared with others. Do you have a time to stop and think about your life? I think about my life all the time. I have to, you know, I wake up every morning and kind of pinch myself because I'm literally living my wildest dreams. You know, I remember being back in Bradford in my Nana's apartment in a room which was actually a lot smaller than this room. This is where I started my journey in, in a room smaller than 20 square meters. Right. So I had to, I literally had, I'd say, this, where the bed is, Yes. right, for anyone who's seen your apartment on the net mm -hmm. before, where your bed is, it was literally, that was the wall, it was the, that small, the room I grew up in. That's where I first started doing magic and now I'm getting to travel all over the world. Finally, I've made it to 20 square meters. So, you know, I definitely feel like I'm moving up in the world a little uh, bit. How about today? How big is your flat? <laughs> today, um, I, have a, I have a small cottage. Um, it's, it's quite small, um, but it's, it's got so much character. So it's not the biggest, because I don't, I don't necessarily think bigger is always better. I think it's, it's about the character and I guess the kind of memories you can make in a place. How did fame change your life? I think with the kind of success that's come from my TV shows, Magician Impossible, and um, I believe Series 4 is starting in Poland this week, which is exciting. So with the whole success of the show, in a way it's allowed me to feel comfortable with who I am. You know, for many years I did things a certain way and so many people around me told me that you can't do this, you can't do that. You know, people won't like this, won't like that, they won't like you. But then the TV show came out and I realized that people started to accept me. Or I finally felt accepted for who I am. So when I made the shows, it's people have kind of followed my journey and grown up with me. 
and now I just feel comfortable in my own skin. Great. And because of that, now I feel that there's no, there's no airs or graces, there's nothing I have to worry about, so I can spend my time trying to help other people. What surprised you in show business? Show business you are in show me business all the time. You are part yeah. of show business? I guess I'm part of show business. I think show business in this day and age has changed so much from what it used to be. You know, I, I can remember, you know, the old films, that, like the old, old Hollywood, yeah, which was like, you know, which is a lot different from now, you know, because now we have so much, I guess, access to the world through the internet, but it's very different. The media all over the world can be kind of crazy, but then it can be a good thing. And I think, the, I, I guess every single day you can go on the internet and find something that surprises you. You know, you probably go online and find my videos and they surprise you. I can find your videos and surprise yes, me. That's true. So it's hard to put a pinpoint on what surprises me in show business. I just think, you know, I'm excited about what the future is going to bring because, you know, we do things that are kind of, you know, people think are quite advanced. But imagine what people are going to be doing in the future. Cool. Have you ever met Ellen DeGeneres? The I've not met Ellen DeGeneres, no. I've, not, I've seen a TV show. She's, I love she's her. a very good presenter. If you. One second, second conditionals probably. If you met, if you meet her, let me know. No, if you meet her, say hello to her. Yes. 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 If you meet, say hello. Say hello to her. Second conditionals. I hate this. The first one. The first one. The first one. Oh, sorry, the first one. <laughs> <laughs> You just came to Poland. Did you took some pictures? Only in I took some pictures in the hotel lobby with some with some fans. Okay, only lobby. Yeah. I... But I took one picture when okay. I got here. Do you want to see? Yeah, of course. I took a picture of me and you outside the house. Oh, that's with this one. With the surprise. Me. My phone. Have you got my phone? Yeah. Hey, look, my first selfie when I got here. That's uh, you and the guy with big nose. Who is it? He's very famous in Poland. You, you oh, that's me. Oh, and Dynamo. Oh, yeah. next to my apartment, studio apartment. And then I took another picture of this amazing quote you've got on your bedroom wall. Ah, uh, imagination is more important than knowledge. It's very good. I'm going to put it on my Instagram. It means you can be stupid. Knowledge. <laughs> 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 uh, when Polish when Polish audience can see your shows? My show starts here in Poland on, I believe, the 16th of October. Okay. Brand new, ser brand new series, the final series of Magician Impossible. What on the expect? first episode next week, it has One Direction. They make an appearance. We also, you can see a little bit of Coldplay in there. They're also in the new series. Um, we also had Sid from Slipknot. We went to San Francisco, went to Los Angeles. In the series, we also go to India. We go to uh, Paris, London, and obviously Bradford, my hometown, where I started off. We go back to my grandma's, where I started my journey, a little bit smaller than this room. Cool. Um, and, and yeah, I think it's the best magic I've done to date. Some of the scariest as well. I don't want to spoil it too much. So Okay, we will but, um, see. Yeah, you will see. Great. Could you show me some trick? Yeah, I can. Um, it might be easier if we take one of the cameras, because we, if we can stand up. Okay. Ma magic, could you help us? Of course. Perfect. So, I have some cards. Yes. All different. I'll give them a shuffle. In fact, I'll give them a dynamo shuffle like this. Yeah, I love it. I love this, really. And I have a pen. I'm going to give that to you. I'm going to go through like this. Just say stop. Stop. Right there? Yeah. So stop on this card right here. Yes. We'll take this one. What I want you to do is just write your name nice and big there. I will write 20 meters. The name of my program. Awesome. It's okay, like that? Yeah, that's perfect. Just hold on to it. This hand, I just pull it off. Don't 
Dann. <lacht> Now, uh, it's from you as well. Wow in Polish is the same. Wow. <lacht> Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Can we sit for a, for a while? Yes, of course. With the outro how is that? Is this are you happy with your first ever yeah, English I, I interview? Hope. We're gonna see in the final version, but well, she's not happy. She didn't buzz you too much. Yeah. I she, don't know why actually. Sorry. That's my special dog, which is uh, Who is? I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes, use it, use it. Which is? Ah! We can form back. Which is connecting <laughs> with uh, Camila. Connected with Camila. <laughs> Dynamo, thank you so much for being my guest. Thank I'm you. really, I'm really grateful. Oh, well, thank you. It's been awesome. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you on your show somewhere, Definitely. somewhere in the world, maybe in London. Yeah, Because yeah. I know you've got a lot of uh, shows in London. Quite a few, yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. And have a next nice year. Yeah, you come to London next year. I will. I will. Make yeah. sure I will. Oh, next October, I'm going on tour. Great. So yeah, comes with Apollo. Cool. Thank you so much. See you guys. I will prove you can realize your dreams even if you are not perfect, like me with my English. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. So I do it like you. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> guys, everything's okay. Yeah, okay. perfect, sure? perfect. Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> oh my God. That was brilliant. Thanks so much. Thank man. you so much. Oh my God. I'm so Thank happy. Very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks Can you make Thank it you just a few pictures? Uh, yeah, of course. Could yeah, you yeah. take that? Come on. Yeah. Whoa. Some more. And one more. And with the duck. And once, it's okay? Ah, oh, with, yeah, with the duck. With the, with this, with this. With this. Bye guys! Thanks, bye! <laughs> guys, and how was it? It was great! Oh my gosh, my first stop in my new life! <laughs>